Okay, hopefully this works this time. So, in between Dragon Age Origins, I will be playing the very first Fatal Frame game. This came out, as you can see, 2001, 2002. Air, so it's a very early PlayStation game, and kind of early to this um, to the survival horror theme as well. So, even though it says it's based on a true story, that is actually not true. It's based on an urban legend in Japan, um, but for some reason, whenever they brought it to the U.S., they decided to put that little line there in hopes that it would sell games or sell copies. I guess. Oh well. I guess it somewhat worked. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start. I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. My big brother. He was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. This is Himuro Mansion. My brother was in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist and a man my brother was very indebted to disappeared while researching a book. When he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts, He was going far away. So as you may have noticed, the voice acting in this game is quite bad. Um, I wonder if his group is still here. While holding the camera, press the circle button to take shooting stance and to enter finder mode. You can take photos with the X or R1 button while in finder mode. While in finder mode, you can control the player's viewpoint with the left analog stick. Square button, move finder quickly. Triangle button, turn around. Use the right analog stick to move around while in shooting stance. Okay, can you, can you get out from underneath that beam there, Mahuyu? So yes, um, if you thought so, the if you thought the I know some complaints about the English version of the fifth game was that the voice acting was bad, and it's like it's, it was actually not that bad. It was fairly decent, I thought, um, but I didn't recognize who the voice actors were when they were listed in there in the credits. any of the characters.
There we go. We got him. Uh, his, uh... He wasn't facing straight like I hoped he was. It has been a long time since I've played this game. And the controls are just, you know, they're a little outdated. Okay, I keep pressing triangle when it's circle, and I think part of that might be because I get the feeling that in later, in a later tile, they changed it to the triangle. I think maybe that was three, and that's the one I played the most. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to the controls again. Hold up the camera with the circle button and press the shutter with the X button to attack ghosts. When the target is inside the circle, power, mystical power, accumulates. The damage you inflict on the ghost goes up as you accumulate more power in the camera. While you have the ghost in your viewfinder and the circle glows, take a shot. You can inflict heavy damage when you take a shot during a shutter bug movement. And when they mean when the when the circle glows, it's when it glows yellow, not blue. It's a common mistake I see is people they just fire the camera whenever. When you really don't want to be doing that. Let me back up a bit. Especially in the first Fatal Frame game, because film is way more limit, um, sparse than in f future titles. I captured a ghost with this camera. This camera has the power to expose things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learned of its unique power to capture ghosts. He's talking. I have my TV turned down so, so it doesn't pick up the audio and echo, but um, that ghost we just saw, there's no way to get that photo, so don't even worry about missing it. And I do want to state I'm not going to be able to get every single photo. I've never done that. Uh, I'm not one of those completionists. I just... it. Some are very, very hard. 
I mean, congrats to those who do, who do manage to do that, but I'm not one of them. The door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed a while ago. The Strangling Ritual, First Night My brother was here. <sighs> what, what is this place? Scenes still look pretty good, in my opinion, for a game that's this old. Alright, so it's an herbal medicine this time and not film. So something happened to Mafuyu. Miku has gone to search for him. I need to save over that file. And I hope that it actually captures and processes properly this time. I try to take a photo, but I can't. Oh, oh. Uh, there was his ghost there. A little, like, his soul. September 12th. Now there's another rope. And another rope. I put the piece of notebook in my file. I hope it doesn't say that after everything we pick up. God. I don't remember. What do we have here?
something happen to my brother? I picked up my brother's camera and notebook from the floor. Mom's old camera. My brother had this with him. I found a new note inside Mofuyu's notebook. Himuro Mansion Investigation Himuro Mansion was once the home of a large landowner that controlled vast areas of land. They also say that the site held some special significance that had to do with Shinto rituals of the region. I couldn't find any detailed books about these Shinto rituals, though. The last master of the Himuro family line massacred his entire household. Later, another family that tried to live there disappeared. Because of incidents like these, nobody visits the mansion today, and it lies in ruins. Maybe that's why these aren't any... Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals, and why the exact location of the place isn't recorded anywhere. September 24th. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to this mansion. I'm leaving notes in this notebook just in case anything happens to me. I've got to find Mr. Takamine, and the others fast. I hope it's not too late. There are many other notes and news articles inside the notebook. So spooky. Gosh. There's an old suit of armor here. Doesn't seem to be just for show. Seen some hard use. Sometimes you want to check things just in case there's like a... Uh, Uh, film in it. Oh. August 20th. Mr. Takamine needs some background material for his next work. There's a book about Himuro Mansion by a certain folklorist, and I'm supposed to look for it. A book about Shinto rituals and legends from every part of the country. Author Ryozo Munakata, title unknown. August 22nd. I can't find the book, but I did some checking on the folklorist. I found out he moved into Himuro Mansion to do research on it. But after some certain event, he and his whole family disappeared. I couldn't find the book, but I found a news article from that period about it. It's a small missing person story, but it might be helpful as background material. September 10th, 11am. It looks like the earthquake last month and the murders in that village have something to do with Himuro Mansion. This stuff is probably all going into Mr. Takamine's next book. He really seems to be into this subject matter. His output rate should be good. September 10th, 4 p.m. The entrance door is broken. When in the world did that happen? It won't open. I'll have to find another way out. September 11th. I haven't been feeling well since two nights ago. Actually, it's more like ever since Tomoe took my picture. What in the world does the rope in this photo mean, I wonder? September 12th. Now there's another rope. And another rope. September 10th, 1.10pm. There seem to be a few devices in this mansion that are engraved with old characters. When I asked Mr. Takamine about them, he said they correspond to numbers. I understand the first few. They're the old characters for the numbers 0 through 3. But I don't get the rest. They're characters that have the same readings as 4 through 9, but mean something different. I guess each one has a special meaning. I'll figure out the rest later. This comes in handy for uh, puzzles later on. Um, 
they changed this for the Xbox version to ha have the actual Roman numbers, but not Roman numbers, but the Arabic numbers, the numbers that we're used to seeing, um, rather than the really old kanji. And it's very easy, I guess it's quite easy to miss this note. Um, so when you do finally reach that puzzle, you're not sure what the answer is. Oh. Just get that marked as checked. There was a report yesterday that a star novelist, Junsei Takamine, age 42, has been missing since the 8th of this month. Mr. Takamine assistant, Tomoe Hirasaka and his editor, Koji Ogata, are also missing. Mr. Takamine last made a phone call to his publishers on September 8th regarding his research trip and has not been heard from for 14 days. The publishers first assumed that the research was taking longer than expected, but since there were no calls from Mr. Ogata, they decided to file a missing persons report. Got it. After three attempts, third time's a charm. something on the other side of the door. Maybe someone's in there? In finder mode, you can see things that can't be seen with a naked eye. Try taking a photo if the controller vibrates or you hear strange noises. No folding screen in the photo. A door appears where the screen should be. seems to be a hidden door behind the folding screen.
go in. Gosh. There's like invisible little barriers that she can't get her feet around. I hate, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that, that. There's a There's small a piece small of paper piece on the chest. It looks like a news clipping. Late yesterday, a human body with no limbs was found in Himuno Mountain, located in the southern region of the prefecture. The body's hands, feet, and head were all torn off. The police is investigating the case as both a murder and accident. The body has not been identified, but it is believed to be a man around the age of 30. The police is also taking into consideration the fact that a body mutilated in the same manner was found in the same location 15 years ago. I put the news article in my file. Barely got him. There isn't anybody in the closet. I found a tape recorder in the closet. It's covered with dust, but it seems to work. An audio tape has been left inside the tape recorder. An audio tape with a white label. It's stopped in the middle. Alright, and we will listen to it. In order to do that, gotta go in here. September 9th, 5.40 p.m. The mansion was nowhere to be seen on the map, so we finally had to ask the locals how to find it. They told us that Himuro Mansion had been empty for several decades now. The same ones who told us where it was also warned us not to come here, which was quite disconcerting. Should have listened to them. That's all I gotta say. Oh yeah, the door's already opened. I'm not gonna be able to get him. I, I've accepted that.
The camera began to glow with mystical power. The camera seal. You can acquire mystical power by damaging ghosts. Select camera from the menu screen, triangle button, to access the power-up screen. You can unlock the seal on the camera with the accumulated mystical power and power up. When you unlock auxiliary function seal, you enable many special attacks to, you to use the enabled auxiliary function Press the L1 button while in a shooting stance. The number of auxiliary functions you can use is limited to the number of spirit stones in your inventory, so be frugal. Alright. Let's pick up the tape. We're going to go ahead and upgrade. I'll go ahead and upgrade that, and then I'll do the range. Now I do want to let you know, uh, in later games they'll give you a Type 7 film. Um, that is infinite, but there is no infinite film in the first game. Um, but you can get, um, when you go to the save points, you can um, reload with Type 14 film. But it gives you like only like 30 or something like that. Um, but other than that, do try so because of that, do try to be frugal with your film and try to get as many good shots as you can. September 9th, 9.40 p.m. It seemed dangerous to walk through the mountain at night, so we decided to spend the night here and continue our work. I've been through several rooms already. Unlike the exterior, the interior is still in quite good shape. A little earlier, I thought I saw a white shadowy figure of a woman in the hallway near the entrance. I'll keep track of such sightings and publish them in a later account. I feel something coming from the mirror stand. Something shows in the photo. It looks like the lion mask near the sunken fireplace. And this game still gets to me. They did a, like a, a upgrade version of the second Fatal Frame game. I kind of wish they would do that with the with this one. There are lots of antiques here, but in poor repair. The owner's hobby, maybe. Oh. There's something reflecting light inside the ornamental lion mask. I found the red hand mirror inside the ornamental lion mask. I got the red hand mirror. Well, that is progress.
A little joke there from the developers. I think that's the one time in the entire franchise they do that jump scare. They never repeated it. I just saw. <gasps> the ropes. I could see the faint shadows of ropes in the man's neck, arms, and legs. I got a small key from the drawer. It looks old. I wonder if it's a key to some door. <laughs> Golly, dude. He's a telephone ghost. I hate those. He's far from the worst, though. Okay, let's get. I'm not being careful with my shots. I was not charged up all the way. Dude, back up. It's too early in the game for this nonsense. Gotcha. There's something shiny where the ghost once stood. This mysterious stone enhances the cameras of power and enables auxiliary functions. So let's see. really use those, but they are nice to have. Say there was a third white tape. Okay. 
a box of film, type 37. I think it's the only game you see type 37 film. And it never shows up again in any future titles. So I'm going to say that there's 14, 64, or something like that. And then 90 and 0. There's an old book written in charcoal ink on the shelf underneath the urn. Research scrap. Secret rituals of the humidal family. Many rituals and customs have been passed down through generations of the Himuto family. Most of them are lost. The only things we have left now are some documents that record these rituals as a legend. Hardly any of the oral history remains. This is because all Himuto family members are dead and those who were close to the family have kept quiet about the ritual. One ritual in particular, performed on December 13th, is shrouded in mystery. People who lived near the mansion stayed inside on that particular day, and even now it is considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that date. I can only assume that this is due to the cruel nature of the ritual, but the truth remains unknown. There was a car horn outside. <laughs> now that looks like a creepy little smile there. Right there. The dampness has warped the chest of drawers. The drawers won't budge. Well, that's just perfect. There's an audio tape in front of the doll. An audio tape with red label. It's labeled Research 1. Let's listen to it. September 10th, 10.20 a.m. We discovered some disturbing photos in a chest of drawers. Could these be the folklorist's children mentioned in Koji's notes? The photo is quite old and shows some kids playing tag. In the corner of the photo, there's a faint image of a young girl in a white kimono. Her finger is pointed this way, and her eyes look as if she's making some silent accusation. Okay. All right. There are several pieces of paper on the shelf. They look like part of a red notebook. August 20th, 
It seems a folklorist named Rosa Munakata was studying about the various rituals passed down at Himuro Mansion. He supposedly left a book of research, but I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if there's a copy in a library somewhere. August 30th. I still can't find the book. I'll have Koji Ogata from the editing department do a search for it. I doubt he'll be able to find it, though. There's a small door here, but it's nailed shut. I can't open it. All right. That's enough for tonight. I really, really hope that this did process properly on my computer. But I do thank you very much for watching. We'll play some more Fatal Frame. And do subscribe if you want to see more.